Hi guys, I am Tripura Alapati and I am a makeup artist and in this video I am going to show you guys how to create this beautiful romantic rose gold monotone look. Not only on Valentine's but this look is so apt for any occasion you guys even on Indian wear it is going to look so warm. Before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel and also if you can please follow me on Instagram because I create so many fun reels and different looks there also. So let's get into the video. To start off with, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Butty Primer. It is a pore filling primer and here I'm just tapping the product in so that it could actually fill in my pores. Now I'm doing my brows and for my brows today I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I am outlining my brows first and then I started filling them in. If you can see, I am mostly filling in the outer part of my brow because at the front, I just want it to look natural. I am doing the same thing on my other brow too. I am outlining my brow and then I am filling it in. Now I am going to use the e.l.f. brow gel to set them in place. It even has microfibers in this so that you can use it alone without using a eyebrow pencil too. Now I am going to take a little concealer on a flat cut crease brush and then I am going to carve out my brows. Carving out your brows will make them look so clean you guys. Just do it once and you yourself will understand the difference. And then I am applying the product that is left on the brush. And I am blending it in. This will act as a base for our eyeshadow. Make sure you guys always apply a concealer or an eyeshadow primer on your eyelid before going in with the eyeshadow. Remember guys, for a clean eyeshadow look, you need a clean base. For my eyeshadow today, I will be using the Revolution Pro eyeshadow palette. And first, I am going to use this shade from the palette. Picking up the product in a big blending brush. Dusting off the excess. And I am going to concentrate the product on my outer corner. Now I am going to concentrate the product towards my inner corner. If you can see I am just concentrating the product on the outer corner and in the inner corner. The middle part of my eyelid I am leaving it as it is. I am going to repeat this step until I am satisfied with the intensity of the eyeshadow. Make sure the inner and the outer corners look similar. I am happy with how this one looks right now so I am going to go in with a darker shade and for that I am going to use this shade from the palette. Now I am placing the product very precisely on the outer corner. If you can see I have switched up the eyeshadow brush I am using. When you are working in smaller areas you need a blending brush that is meant for that area. So I am just deepening it up. Again I am placing it on the inner corner and deepening it up. Now I am going to again pick up the first shade from the palette and I am just blending both the shades together so that it will look like a nice gradation of colors. I am happy with how this one looks right now. Now I am going to use a rose gold shade in the middle. Remember I just applied the color on the outer and inner corners only so I am just placing the rose gold shade. In the middle. I am going to take a flat eyeshadow blending brush and I am going to blend that glitter with that eyeshadow so that they look seamless. That's pretty much it you guys. If you can see it looks so beautiful. I am going to finish the other eye and come back to you guys. I completed my other eye too and now I am just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. For my mascara today, I am going to use the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I just wish this mascara is available in Indian market you guys. Because this is so good. Moving on to the base, I am going to use a darker shade of concealer as a color corrector. You can use an actual color corrector or a darker shade of concealer for color correcting you guys. If you are a beginner, I suggest you go with darker shade of concealer because you know, it's very beginners friendly. Now, I am going to blend that product in. My skin right now is like so bad. 
I mean it's breaking out a lot I'm going to apply little more product on the areas where I feel like I need more coverage now for my base I'm going to use the Mars BB cream this is so hyped up you guys so I bought it recently and I want to test it out I'm going to use my pack 247 blending brush and I'm going to buff it in I am pretty happy with the color match I'm actually not very much of a BB cream sort of person so yeah let's just try it out this is the side with the BB cream and this is the side without BB cream as you can see very minimal coverage I mean that's what a BB cream is meant for but yeah it looks so dewy I mean I am liking it as of now now for my concealer I am going to use the Benefit Boeing concealer this is one of my favorite concealers you guys for me I like my concealers if they are not so drying under my eyes because I have dry under eyes you guys so I like my concealers to be hydrating rather than drying so this is a very good concealer if you ask me so I'm just blending the product in and as you can see it is a full coverage concealer too I applied very little product but look at the coverage you guys this concealer definitely oxidizes you guys so if you are planning to get this one make sure you are getting a shade lighter than your actual shade because this one oxidizes a lot now I am again taking my foundation brush and I am blending both the concealer and the BB cream together so that it will look natural rather than looking I have concealer up to here and my foundation up to that now for my contour I am going to use makeup by Mario sculpting stick if you know me you know my obsession with this product you guys I just love this contour stick a lot I mean look at how easily this one blends I don't have to put any effort to I like to apply my contour little higher than the halos of my cheeks because you know I just love how it looks it gives that lifted effect to my face I'm using the product that is left on the brush on my forehead and for my blush I am going to use the Benefit Penitent So to set my base, I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is truly a flawless setting powder, you guys. Now I am going to use a nude eye pencil on my lower lash line so that my eyes will look bigger and open. If you are having medium or all your skin tones, please don't use a white eye pencil, you guys. It will look so odd. Now I am going to take a flat shadow brush and pick up some eyeshadow and going to use it on the lower lash line. You can use any eyeshadow of your wish or a highlighter to do this step. And now I am going to apply a little mascara on my lower lash line too. Now I am using the pack highlighter to highlight the high points of my face. I go very light handed with the highlighter you guys because you know I'm not so much of a highlighting kind of person. This is a beautiful highlighter as you can see it's good. That's it for the base guys. I'm not going to apply any powder product on top of this because as of now it looks so natural and it looks so dewy and nice. So I'm just going to keep it this way. I'm not going to add any more powder products on top of this. To finish off the look I'm going to use the Kiro lipstick in the shade Ginger Tea. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you all in another video.